Who am I? I'm me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm me. My name is Sefa Gohobwaten. We are in the deep, dark jungle in the middle of the rainforest. I am the, the caretaker of the Eden and Eve flower farm. It's a beautiful day, nice and calm. It's just rained. Aiko! <laughs> so today we're doing a harvest to a customer in Dubai. Um, they usually end up with um, a buyer who exports to Holland. So we are an outgrower for a larger company. Yeah, it's a real labor of love, you know. I was inspired to do it um, by instinct and because of the love my mother has for flowers. And I realized that flowers have a way of lifting, uplifting the spirit, you know. Some people would describe me as a Haliconia because I, I can be tough on the outside. Uh, <laughs> but I, I would like to think I'm more like an orchid because I, I think I'm quite delicate. Am I delicate? Yes, you are. I am, huh? Veronica is the very first woman we worked with on the farm. It's an amazing project and I'm happy to be part of it. We started the farm because it's important for us to reclaim the role of women in Ghana and of the world, actually. When we first started this project, uh, we thought we would like to give the woman a decent salary, and they rejected it. They said they couldn't accept more money than their husbands were earning. As time has progressed, five years later, their men now understand that, you know, it's okay for your wife to have money. You see how the men are working. It's exactly here. This um, chief is very open-minded. As much as he's still a traditional man and he has two wives, he understands that the women of his community bring a lot. I've learned so much from them. They've taught me so much about what it means to be humble. There's no reason to be exploitative. Without the women, we wouldn't be able to grow these products to export out of the country. Things come in, things go out. My first daughter died. And it was due to negligence in a local hospital. My situation was a simple case of somebody not caring enough, not believing that what they would do would make a difference. I brought a little bit of the Musk philosophy to my life. I think my purpose is to connect to completely different worlds and to help people to reach their full potential. I think my dream to see an Africa where poverty is no longer a huge challenge and where leadership actually drives the will of the people. That's why I said I come to you. I started looking around me and started appreciating those around me who had their own lights to share. Can you imagine how brilliant the world would be if all the beings of light could come together and shine their light on the world? To the young who need empowerment, to the women who need empowerment, dream and live your dreams.